Hey GTI fans, welcome back to another episode of Empyrean Galactic Survival. This is your host Zelot, and we're here today doing the Alpha 9 series. Uh, we're out in the orbit of the lava planet closest to the starting planet. Uh, I can't remember the name of it now. We're somewhere. Um, where are we? Namak. We're at Namak. So, we've been busy building away. As you can see, we've almost got this thing ready to be sealed. Now it's, well, I got one wall left to put up. Now, I've been debating on what I want to do on that side. Do I want to duplicate the rooms over here? I mean, I put the walkways around just in case. I think I do. I think I want to duplicate the other side um, with a construction room up at the top and then a I'm thinking the the living quarters and medical sort of where the garden is on the other side I mean, the, the problem is, is that puts the garden opposite of really where I... Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. It'll make me go to both sides of the base then. <laughs> okay. Um, hmm. I think I want to continue on with what I'm doing here. I'm going to I'm gonna duplicate what I got here so far on the other side. So let's, let's go ahead and do that. And I'm, I'm not texturing yet until I get what I want, the basics, the basic shell, the husk, so to speak, up. Okay, and then, so that's all windows from the ends. And then the middle, it'll be a single. Okay, so we windows from the ends. And they've got windows, which is one square Okay, so that's fine. So we do windows. We can always pop that out and put windows, I guess, and cornered windows there if we want. Uh, and then this is blocks here. So let's go like this. Oh, come on. Just have something to put the windows on. Make it a little easier. And then, I mean, that's going to extend out, but that's fine. We just, just want to get this up here. Uh, and again, down below, we'll get blocks up here. Okay. And then, so we're going to put windows. So that should be two windows of the double thickness. And that is on the inside like that, I believe. Right? Just, yep. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Come on. Ugh. Once you get the one in, it's not so hard. And right when I say that. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. 
Let's turn it into a massive base. This is going to cost a lot to build. This ain't no starter base. I mean, a space base shouldn't be a starter base, right? I mean, come on. Really? I mean, I guess you could nowadays. You could, you could really push it to 7th level with a basic HV and then just multi-tool that or or build a very 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 basic um, or just spawn in a basic SV at level 7 multi-tool down your basic HV spawn in the SV at 7 launch up into space with your stuff and build a base in space right away but geez that I don't know. It takes me a long time to get that kind of resources together to... Oh, come on, come on, come on, right there. Thank you. Okay. And then we're going to do something creative with the walkways. Eventually, this, this base will have gravity. And we do have... Um, Pretty sure we got a gravity generator back at the snow planet, which we can go get. What I'm hoping to do this episode is seal in this side and and have this big giant hangar bay sealed. Potentially oxygenated too, if we can get. Um, it's just these windows take freaking forever. Oh, I screwed that up, didn't I? I totally screwed that up. I shouldn't have placed that. Why did I do that? Why did I do that? Okay, so where are we on this one? This is. Straight. Come on. Really? Stupid thing. I'm thinking that's it right there, eh? Oh, we, we can count in. That's fine. Oops. Need to do that. Let's get to that one. Come on. Ah. No. Okay, so well let's count in then we've got One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten doubles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Oh, okay. So we pop this one. And then this one, oops, can go there. So that's 11 and 11. Okay, there we go. That's better. Come on. No, don't, don't. There we go. I gotta aim at the other window to place it. It's kind of. If I aimed straight up, it would work too, I guess. Right? Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Um, we'll get this in. Come on. Oh, are you gonna get 
lippy with me? Yes, you are. So, come on. Oh, right there. Good. And then... Standard one. Right there. We'll need a door. That's fine. Okay, and then this is the big ones and it'll also have a center one like the other side okay Uh, much easier to do once the top one was done. Okay. So there's that. Go like this. That in, so we need a couple doors for there. Um, oh, what am I going to do about the window situation? I don't know if I'm going to have enough. Okay, so we can bring well what am I gonna do with the spaces on the other side too like what what is my intent with the other side is this is this gonna come straight down huh Not sure if I'm going to have enough. I might have to do concrete right here. And if we do have enough windows, I might have. Oh, uh, I think we'd have enough. Well, okay. So let's do let's do the windows on the bottom how I did here. I think. We'll get the two the two high because I actually want to do the construction room below here I kind of want to do it on the ground floor I want to do the upper floor to be um, more or less a, a lounge reception area for the big CVs that come in up top there'll be a way for them to come straight down into the lounge area on this side Yeah. That way I should have enough to do this between the windows and the concrete. Because each window is like placing four blocks, really, because it takes up, well, it takes up four blocks. So that's quite a bit, quite a few. Getting there. Yeah, because I'm not sure what I want to do with. Maybe I'll do the apartments on this side too. Yeah. Okay, so am I gone too far? Let's count. I need 11. Here we've 
got. Stop it. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ugh. Every once in a while, it just jumps. It just like literally skips ahead a few frames. And but the, it's not it's not the frame skipping ahead. It's the game skipping ahead. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, so. There we go, that's half. Okay. Oh, we might have enough to do a lot more of the window. I mean, realistically, it's only 11 each side. That's 22. Double stack, that's 44. With two in the center, that's 46. Get these windows in, come on. Starting to get to be a little bit of a pain here. Let's do it up against this side. Okay. And then we need two for here, so we need that. single okay um, now let's just grab some oxygen and food really quick here well I'm well I'm contemplating Uh, looks like the garden's ready again. Yep. I won't. I won't bother right now. We'll just grab some food. We've got a whole bunch. See, I just got this thing's a. a I'm not gonna starve. Put it that way. Oh, I can overeat right now. Yeah, I'll just overeat. I don't care. I I got so much food, and this thing, this thing pumps out quite a few um, emergency rations at a time. So I just. I'm good with that. Okay, so so we need what concrete along the top again here, right? So let's do that. So That's the great thing about building in space. There is no such thing as structural integrity in space. It just doesn't matter. Okay, good. Um, so are we going to do the same thing? Are we just going to do multi-layer? And only have the the catwalks up on the top two levels. I like the idea of that. Restricting catwalk access to whatever. Well, I don't. I don't know about restricting access. <laughs> whatever. You can just jump out in your freaking jetpack and fly around wherever you want. Um. Windows again then, and we do another layer. Let's see how this is going to look. Let, let's let's do um, so. Let's put in the windows.
then it's going to be a layer uh, of concrete. There, let's extend this out. I think I think this is the way we're going to be doing this. It'll give us a whole heap load of unnecessary space. <laughs> um, but isn't that what this whole thing is about? Unnecessary? Being completely unnecessary? Okay. Let's take a look here. How is that looking? And then we've got how many? One, two, and that's six. So that's Yeah, that's going to work out perfectly, isn't it? That's going to work out perfectly. Okay. Okay, so we have our our wall makeup. Um, yeah, the top two are, are well, the... The middle one, there's a squished one in the middle, and the rest are all even. Okay, okay. And then we can decide what to do with... We can decide what to do with all of them. Okay, so let's extend... Let's get the concrete laid out. Let's get these... Uh, let's get these extended all the way. Oh, come on. I mean, I guess I could put a symmetry plane up, but... Although, for the windows, that's not a bad idea. Ah, this is fine. I think repairing all my derps while I have symmetry plane up might just nullify the use of the symmetry plane. <laughs> so there's that. I guess I could be building with my drone, couldn't I? The thing about the building with the drone, see how I can stop my my mouse instantly with my with my avatar. With the drone, it drifts, and then you end up having to pull it back and shimmy around. And it's actually much easier to build out in space with your uh, with your avatar as opposed to your drone. At least I find it so. I guess that's subjective. If you're really good good at using the tools presented, then you know, I guess the drone is the drone is the most maneuverable, and just take a look to see if this is how I want it. Not sure about walkways all the way around on the other on these mid levels though. I think they're just going to be observation only. So I think those three levels are not going to have an opening at all. I'm just going to fill that in with glass. And then this one will be sealed once we get the three doors in. Um and i guess that'll be it so let's finish this off we'll get this sealed and we'll call it an episode come on come on are you there we go. huh 
Let's do the bottom one first. That's fine. It's easier anyway. Yeah, so that means I'm going to have a... <clears throat> I'm going to have... Well, you know what I could do? I could do like a tiny little one instead of a full all the way walk around one for those. Because I am going to have to do a single pane in the middle, single width. It's just the way it's going to go. This is cool. This is going to be massive. I just got to blueprint it before it hits class 7. Speaking of, I guess we should check that. I haven't actually looked at that yet, so let's do that. It's class four. Okay. Okay, I got to pay attention to that because I want it to be able to spawn in as a class six, even if it's unfinished. That's fine. Uh, I will pop all the plots out before I. Um, Jeez, we we not we might not be able to get this thing finished before it's class six though, so it might be uh, every time I spawn it in, I might have to do some finishing work on it. That's okay. I mean, getting in the bulk of it and you know. Spawning in a class six base for a starter base or for for a starter shell to a base is is good. And basically that's the we we are gonna be hopefully spawning in a CV that I have made months ago. Um, it was actually a an evolution, a CV that slowly grew from a tiny little level five. Um, yeah, level five, I said, from a level five CV that couldn't fly to basically a level 25 massive capital vessel. Did we pass the 11? Nope, not quite. Okay, so let's get up to the 11. That way it's easier to see where we're at. Stop. Come on. And one more right there. Okay. So that's the 11. We're getting there. We're getting there. Yeah, we should have enough glass because we're doing the double pane, right? And we used a bunch of the concrete. So that helped. Okay, so now we just put it there. Come on. Right there. The only problem is all this glass makes the base really silicone expensive. Okay, so that's that chunk done. It's kind of looking like an apartment building, isn't it? <laughs> like a freaking 70s apartment building. <laughs> Uh, it won't once we texture it up and get, remember, this is still, there's, there's actually, this is actually going to be still built out more. Um, these are going to be areas, habitable areas. This is where going to be where probably the bulk of the living's going to be on this side. So I'm going to have to build a ton more 
a ton more freaking windows. Because I guarantee it ain't going to have enough. So we're going to have to go silicone. Like I was saying last episode, I need to go, I need to go mining, uh, dump, dump everything out of the SV and just go find that silicone and mine it up. Hopefully find the, um, traders, sell them some, uh, some crap and, uh, buy some Pentaxid off them. Hopefully find, and then warp over to the other, um, asteroid field that's near us and try and find that pentaxted asteroid because that would that would pretty much set it up set us up for a long time if we can get you know an asteroid full of pentaxid that should be like that's usually a good thousand or fifteen hundred so okay so there we go we're almost there. We'll get this finished off. Well, that's cooking. We're going to need... Should, we, should I put the doors in anyway, just for future consider, considerations? Then I don't have to pop it and screw around with breaking the seal. So, okay. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six doors we're going to have to make. Okay, so let's do that. Come on. Uh, six doors, please. Oh, good. We got the rest of the railings made. Another 400. We've got some... I want to use stairs out on the railings. Um, I don't want to use elevator blocks out there. I want to use stairs. Make it look very, very industrial. And, and I also want to make a bunch of girders, too. So we're going to make... Um, we're going to be making these, the truss blocks. Uh, actually primarily for decoration, but, um, I have a, I have a plan. Okay. So doors, I need six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. We also got a bunch of lights made up. We've got a lot of stuff that we can put in. We've got Container controllers, over a hundred extensions made. We've got a lot of stuff ready to go here. It's just that it takes a long time to build it, so it's going to take a few episodes to put all this stuff in. <laughs> That's okay. Okay, so right there and there. So we'll put the window that one in come on like that this one's going to be difficult with the other without the window on that side there we go okay um, there that one's done so we just need the single blocks here Okay. Okay, so we should have the doors ready to go. Now let's grab, come on, let's grab these. And, oh, it's not gonna fit. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, okay, let's, let's put, we don't need these right now then. Let's put the rest of these in there. So that's cargo box three. Uh, ooh, okay. Wow. We burned through all our stone. So I'm going to have to go gather stone too. That's fine. That's fine. Okay. Grab those. And what else are we going to need? Let's um, grab the doors, of course, and the walkway. Okay, grab those. I think doing all that is going to be a different episode, though. 
I just want to get this sealed in. And then, uh... And then we'll be done the hangar. Well, sealing the hangar, anyway. The interior of it, there's still a whole bunch of work. There's texturing and painting and... and and stuff, gear to go in. It's not even close to done. <laughs> not even freaking close. Okay, there's those six doors. We'll get the rest of the windows in. Okay, it's too bad you couldn't place more than one at a time these style windows, but anything that that takes up multiple blocks you can't uh, You can't do multiples of to my knowledge at least I don't know of a way and You can't you can't spin them with like you can't reposition them if it takes up multiple blocks seems to be only the single block blocks you can do that with the multi-tool. We should have enough. We should have enough. We should easily have enough windows here. Come on. Right there, come on. It won't look like a, a 70s apartment building when I'm done. Don't worry. Okay. Okay, this jolting of the game. I noticed that got introduced again on the last patch. That jolting. It was really nice and smooth for a while. And then... I don't know, last patch seems to have introduced some bugs and it's not as smooth as it was, so that's unfortunate. Getting there, we're almost there. Almost. Okay, is that the last one? That should seal it up when I place this last window right here. All right, so let's... Come on. Really? There we go. Okay, let's go take a look. What do we got? We have, yep. 22 degrees and zero radiation. Nice. So this whole area is sealed. Wow, that's such a massive opening. Love it. That's exactly what I wanted. Okay, so we can kind of see through to the planet. That's, I was hoping for that. I wanted some background. I wanted some, some visibility there. Uh, it doesn't matter. The other side is where it's going to be all visibility. I'm going to have to make a ton more Ooh, silicone. My silicone is going to be completely freaking depleted by the end of this. Oh, well. That's fine. That's fine. Well, I'm going to pick the garden here, and we're going to call it an episode. So let's... Um, Disconnect from that. We can put that back in there. We're going to connect to our fridge there. And you guys have yourselves an awesome, awesome day.